famous uh, rice porridge that I made is something called kitchri, and I used to eat it like <laughs> at every meal in India. I love it. I have to go to work today. Uh, I have an eight hour shift. I'm closing at the store. This kitchri is really good. Oh my gosh, wow. I just made it to work. Um, I'm in the parking lot. <laughs> uh, I work actually at a natural food market here in town. So it's about a 40 minute drive from up where I live in the mountains. But here we sell like a lot of local, locally sourced things and providing like good food for the community. I think it's a really cool place. Yeah, and I work with some of the most rockin' awesome people ever. Yeah, I'm really grateful that I work in a place where there's a lot of like like-minded individuals. It is hard to make friends in a new town. Like when I moved here, I I didn't know a single person and I was living alone up in the mountains. So, it's been really nice to work at such a fun place. <laughs> so, I just got off of work. I'm having some homemade sprouts. I fermented sesame seed cheese, kind of weird, but it's really good. Uh, some beans, corn, salsa I made, and sauerkraut. I've actually been pretty sad this week because I fell in love with this guy and he kind of just stopped talking to me and he started ignoring my messages. So this week has been kind of hard. I guess I think I have a lot of fear in regards to this exact situation. I fear that I'm going to like let people into my life and then they're just going to not like me or I don't know, I guess just this exact situation I fear. And so, yeah, it's been, it's been interesting if I'm being completely honest. Constantly been checking my phone for a message. I'm off to the river to go take my evening shower. I've been only showering in the river for the past three months now, and it's been the best three months of my life. Wow, you can see the moon, oh my gosh. That's so beautiful. falling in love with life every second of the day. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. We're going through a heat wave right now, so before it gets too hot in the mornings, I like to go to this little trail and walk along it or run if I feel like it. Usually not running. There's a rattlesnake that just crossed the trail and I am so terrified. It slithered out right in front of my feet. I almost stepped on it. Literally could have just died. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I could not go 
about running alongside a river is you get to swim in it after you're done. <laughs> We have grizzly bears up here, actually, and we also have mountain lions. Some people call them cougars. But those things, like, do not scare me at all because there's just such a low probability that you're going to run into one, um, let alone it actually harming you. It's just such a low chance. But what I am scared of is rattlesnakes. I was up there without my phone or any other human, if I had gotten bit, I don't know what I would have done. I don't know what I would have done. And I was, I was close. It was, it was crazy. I stepped like this far from it and its little rattle was going. Its head was up and uh, the tongue was going in and out and it seriously looked so evil. It reminded me of that snake in, um, Robin Hood. <laughs> it looked so evil. I, that was terrifying. Oh my God. Anyways, um, I don't know. My dad's come for a visit today. Uh, like two years ago, we had to cut down a tree over here. And so the wood's been drying. So we're going to cut it into slabs for me to use as the floor and the ceiling of my house. So I'm about to go to the market that I'll usually go to. Um, to get there, you can either take the highway, which takes a long time, and you have to basically go all the way around the mountains. Um, it's probably like an hour and 20 minutes drive. Actually, just down the road, you can take the old logging road, and it will take you directly there. Um, it's like half the distance. You drive a lot slower. But it's such a nice drive. I love it. And it's just going to be a really good... Oh, I'm tired too. And I just want to sit and listen to music and drive to the store. <laughs> no, but seriously, I don't know.
coming out here at night and hearing the animals <sighs> just makes me feel less alone in the world you know like there's a whole world that exists at night it's so cool <laughs>